so cheers for tuning in to another EDH stream and yeah just sorting out everything and bits and pieces um, on here uh, so yeah all set up so yeah it's Sunday it's time for some more EDH so hopefully I've finally fixed the green screen issue and that that is looking pretty sweet I know there's something weird going on with my hair but everything else should be a-okay right now um, so yeah we're just gonna jump straight in and create ourselves a new game and hopefully some people jump in as you can see over there on the oh that's weird there we go full screen um, yeah, so playing Arabo Cat Tribal again. Haven't played cats in quite a while now, so yeah, it's about time that I, that I revisited this deck. Made some tiny little tweaks uh, over lunch earlier, just up the amount of ramp in it and just sorted out the lands a bit now as well. Oh, Grave! Remember you from last week? Cool. Um, yeah, must be sort of on at the same kind of time as playing. And we got a G Degenerate DM 420 and won a dice roll. Yes, winning. Uh, yep, yeah, definitely like to play first. Let's open all of this up. Uh, turn on the yields and have a look at the hand. So we got an Oath of Ajani. Um, El Dami's cool, is pretty cool. And we got three lands. We don't have any ramp. And we don't have any cats, so uh, I'm really tempted to uh, mulligan. I'm thinking. Oh, we got a Rishgar's expertise again. We got four lands and a harvest season. Battle axe is pretty rad. So yeah, we're going to keep that for sure. So who are we up against? Rubinia, Soul Singer. Uh, so you can choose not to untap and basically gain control of that creature whilst Rubinia's tapped. Let's keep this. So that's pretty cool. Liking that a lot. Let's just uh, good luck high five everyone. And hide the chat. So that's Rubinia that we're up against. Uh, Degenerate is also playing a cat. Awesome. Balan. Wandering Knights, got Double Strike uh, with two equipments, features in this deck here. So that's pretty sweet. We just drew a Spirit of the Hearth. And we've got on that Earth, Locus of the Royals, so the brand new one. Okay, awesome. Um, so where do we go first? Let's go Forest into Bloodforged Battle Axe. I think that sounds reasonable. And then, yeah. Hopefully more, more draws will be lucky like that. So, yeah, Rubinia. Pretty interesting. I actually built my wife a Rubinia deck um, ages ago now, a couple of years ago now. Uh, it's really, really cool. And, yeah, Balan, like I said, is in here. Omnath did a bit of a deck tech. I've built an Omnath commander deck, but haven't um, revisited it since M20 released. So, still need to go back and do that at some point. Spend some patreon monies on some more cards i think and yeah bring a few new decks to the to the table because at the moment we're cycling through just drew a planes okay nothing too exciting there unfortunately so we'll just tap and pass bit slow there so yeah need to need to bring a few new decks Ah, oh, they're playing my favorite ever island Nice. <laughs> um, yeah, need to bring some new decks to the table. Um, yeah, so uh, let me know what you would like to, to see uh, in each of these streams or in each of the YouTube replays. Oh, there we go. It said that I was disconnected from the chat for some reason, but yeah, sorry if anyone has just tried chatting. <laughs> um, right, where are we at? So, Infiltration Lens becomes blocked. You can draw two cards, and they've got a Bloodforged Battle Axe as well because they've copied it with a Masterwork of Ingenuity. Okay, and we've got some more equipment, but we still don't have a cat. Where's the cats at? 
Uh, we can't use harvest season because we don't have any creatures. To... <laughs> this is a nightmare. Yes, I really like that idea, Clockwork. Cheers for tuning in, buddy. Um, yeah, build deck restrictions sounds a lot of fun. And yeah, five mana. We've got literally nothing going on here. Dead in the water. Yeah, old board only sounds pretty interesting. I like the sound of that a lot. Um, so, yeah be quite tricky to do and also um yeah just trying to think of the logistics of it but yeah that would be that would be pretty cool or traditional edh so i had to have an elder dragon as my commander that would be pretty rad as well um things like that so yeah i'm well up for for, for looking at that kind of thing ravenic uh theme blocks so yeah 100 percent from within one block ravnica has been revisited twice now, so there's three blocks to choose from, I guess. Um, something like Zendikar might work if you include the original Zendikar and World Wake and stuff, and the new, newer, should say, uh, Battle for Zendikar stuff. That might be pretty sweet. Sword of Fire and Ice. What does that one do? Can't quite remember. Two damage to any target and draw a card. Okay, so that's not too OP. That's all right. Um, no one else is really doing much, to be fair. So I'm quite happy. Oh, a Grumgully, the Generous from Th Throne of Eldraine. Uh, we've just drawn a Kadama's Reach, so that's still not a cat. Is that unbelievable? Um, so they get an extra plus one, plus one counter on. Uh, let's play that. And we want to select cat. And then, yeah, we'll Kadama's Reach. Search for... We've got a couple of planes, so let's get a couple of forests, I think. Yeah, so we're all set for lands. Um, however, um, I guess next turn we can bring a Rabo out. I don't particularly like casting a Rabo though. Um, not really what I want to do. I want to take advantage of the Eminence without putting her, her, maybe it at risk. Legacy's Allure. I run that in my pirate deck. Gain control to target creature with power less than or equal to the number of treasure counters on it. Yeah. So, yeah, lots and lots of stealing going on over here. Um, how much does Rubinia cost to cast? Five. Yeah, so that could be a threat soon. Obviously, if they make a land drop, Balano is going to come out. Yeah, there we go. And they got plenty of equipment, so yeah, it's gonna get double strike pretty much straight away. Uh like Dharma's reaching as well. And then presumably it's round to myself. So yeah, it's been an eventful week for Magic, um, with, oh, there's Oath of Ajani again, I'm just drawing the same cards that I mulliganed away, uh, let's get another forest down. So, we have got six mana, um, but we don't have any power of creatures on the board, but Spirit of the Hearth might be quite interesting, 4-5 flyer, saves getting Arabo out. Yeah, I like that plan, let's do it. Cool. Um, what was I talking about? Yeah, the amount of stuff that's happened this week. Pioneer is one of those things. So yeah, that is now a RTR up to present day format. So sounds quite interesting. My initial thoughts, quite on theme with today's deck, is that I could rebuild my uh, Amonkhet um, K 
Hat Tribal deck, and that would still be a thing. I think I should still have most of the pieces for it on MTGO, so yeah, maybe if there's enough interest, uh, you can either let me know in the Twitch chat or on the comment section of the YouTube video on demand, um, if you'd like me to play Pioneer for um, next weekend, then yeah, I'd be up for testing it a little bit. Not going to deep dive into it on the channel at all, that's straying a bit too far from what I'm all about. Uh, the other thing I was thinking of was you could make um, Nahiri the Harbinger and bring out some pretty crazy creatures with her uptick. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I made sure that I went through and uh, uniformly put in correct lands into this. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, fortunately, I had uh, enough lying around of these two types to, to make it look good. Um, yeah, can't tell over there. This person has got three different types of planes going on and not being too much of a land snob. But yeah, I wouldn't feel, feel comfortable in playing a deck like that, um, which is why I've changed this up. And that is mega equipped. And it's going into Warpig. Phew. Uh, so that's a 9-7. Pro white, pro blue, pro black, and red, double strike. Ouch. So they're going to get another battle axe. Uh, so yeah, a bit of recursion and card draw, I think, isn't it? Yeah, two damage, a bit of card draw. So a 9-7. I think the correct word there is Yowza, and that's commander damage as well. Double striking commander damage. Oh my days, I just realised. He's just taken 18 commander damage in one turn. Damn. Okay, uh, so thankfully we got Hammer of Nazan. Although that's got pro white, hasn't it? Hmm. Something just happened. Did anyone catch what just happened? Bane of Progress. Destroy all artifacts and enchantments. So they've now got an 11-11. And they're swinging in for three damage with the gum gully. Yeah. Bane of Progress. Thank goodness I hadn't started uh, off too strongly then. Um, otherwise I would have got wrecked. So... We're going to play our own equipment now. Um, let's go for some of that. It comes in. We can attach it to the spirit. So that's nice. 6 5 flying indestructible, giving us hex proof. So pretty stoked about that. And then let's play a harvest season. So we get to. Oh no, that whiffed. I thought it was the power. I was getting that and Rishkar's expertise confused. Oh no, first punt of the day. <laughs> um, it does not have vigilance, so. Although it is 9 damage. No, we're just going to pass around and behave. For the time being, I don't want to be taking 11 damage. Until we get more creatures. I can't believe I just completely whiffed with that harvest season. Why? Why do, why do I do these things? <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so their legacy's allure is gone. So that's something good, at least. 
So, 180B, search for a forest and put it onto the battlefield. Untapped as well, nice. So yeah, what else happened this week? I'm sure that there was loads of stuff happening, but now I can't remember it at all. Uh, so there was Pioneer, and that's what I'm assuming that the new mystery boosters are going to be. They're going to be like uh, Pioneer Masters or something like that. And yeah, could prove interesting. Certainly seems very popular. I've seen a few people's tweets, um, especially uh, Channel Fireball, that they've had like so many decks created on their website for it already that it's like outstripping all of these other smaller like um, Singleton and Brawl and Oathbreaker. It's just beaten all of those within one week. All right, what are they going to do? Mindstone. <clears throat> Quite a spike. Death touch. Yeah. Three, three. It's only first striking, but it's death touch. And that's going into War Pig again. <laughs> cool, so the 11-11's out of the way. I'm quite... <laughs> okay, so <laughs> bringing the bane back. So I guess I won't get too far ahead of myself. Um, yeah, they're just having a bit of a slogging match, to be fair. Okay, so we've drawn another forest. Woo! Rock and roll. Okay, um, are we going to risk risk of Rishkar's expertise or do we cast a Ravo? Mm, if it's an artifact or enchantment, then Bane, Bane is just going to get it. But it could be a cat and that is worth the risk. And one more. Should attack the territory. So we get to draw. Should have done it after combat. Should have done it done it in the second main phase actually. Second punt of the day. Does that class as a punt or just idiocy? Who knows? Right, they're holding us up at the moment with their untapped breeding pool. So yeah, um, oh, there we go, cool. Right, so we drew a lot of cards and we get to cast uh, one with CMC of five or less. We want to make the most out of it. So, Kazali Slinger seems like the most reasonable use of all of our mana. So we'll do that. And we get to destroy the Quieter Spike. Which is where we're at. And, oh, Sterling Grove, we might want to shoot that to be fair because that is going to yeah be a key part of their game plan i feel or we've got two man one tapped fleece main line um yeah so let's shoot the quite a spike and then we'll play the fleece main and shoot the sterling grove So, yeah, worked out all right in the end. Sweet. 
Sweet. Uh, let's target that cat. And where do we want to go? I think them having their little battle is fine. And I haven't... Well, I've got the hammer, which would be quite annoying to lose, to be fair. But I think... Degenerate might be the way to go. Let's provoke them. Anything going to happen? <sighs> so yeah, this is, I don't know um, if anyone's familiar with UK archaic weird times and things, but we just went through uh, the end of British summertime last night. So all of our clocks go back by one hour at 2 a.m. last night. So whilst it was 2 a.m., it magically became 1 a.m. I don't know if this happens anywhere else in the world. Might possibly, uh, might elsewhere might possibly have daylight saving. But yeah, so technically I guess we've now moved to no, this is now 3.30, isn't it, in the afternoon? Who knows? <laughs> okay, so I took out their Sterling Groves, so they're just killing everything. <laughs> um, so yeah, we lost the Hammer of Nazan, which is a shame. Uh, the Kusadi Slingers were super useful. Fleece Main Lion's not bad, actually, to be fair. It's two mana. Um, and then the monstrosity, it becomes hexproof and indestructible, which is pretty rad. Just tool that up with like hammers and swords and stuff. And yeah, quite glad I didn't cast a Rabo then if we were just going to get wiped out. But yeah, glad that we got the Rishkar's expertise off. So I managed to stock up the hand with a fair few treats. Endless Atlas, I really like that card. I keep forgetting about it though, so I don't really put it that much into decks. But I mean, I could activate it straight away now because I've got, I'm fulfilling the criteria. Um, so yeah, that's quite a good card draw. And it's really good in their, in mono colored decks, like they're playing mono white. So yeah, as soon as you draw it, you're pretty much going to be able to start activating it. So, let's go on, whilst we're waiting for this person, some basic land looking at. So that's all fancy lands. Obviously, we've already seen that island, uh, which is beautiful. That's the plains that they're running, and that is from Odyssey. That is really nice as well. Really like that. It looks kind of mirage actually, to be honest. And then they're running another onslaught uh, land as well, the forest there. Right, let's have a break from that. So we drew Eldamri's call again. What do we want to do? I definitely think that we want to uh, do this. One, two, three, four. So we can cast creatures off the top of our deck now, which is rad. That's not a creature. So we'll put that down over there. Got five mana left, so we could cultivate. Actually, let's hold down his call. I know what we're going to go and fetch. We are going to fetch. I thought it was going to be quite an easy choice. It's either Pride Sovereign. Or Regal Caracal. And I think we'll go with Pride Sovereign to start churning out some tokens. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. What on earth has happened to that window? Uh, we still don't have a creature on the top of our deck. So yeah, let's Pride Sovereign. Uh, so we need to place that onto there. So we've got a 7, 8, 
flyer. Nothing else is really going to deal us much damage. So I think if we, yeah, let's go into Grave. Take Rubinia down a peg or two. Yes, they do. They did return that. What's it? It just destroyed all enchantments and artifacts, doesn't it? Hmm, wasn't in the revealed cards. Okay, and they're returning a cream as vengeance. <laughs> Um, so we can expect a board wipe imminently. Uh, collective restraint. So creatures can't attack you unless the controller pays X for each creature they control that's attacking you, where X is the number of basic land types amongst lands that you control. Okay, so we basically need to pay three every time that we want to attack them, although Bane is going to come down and take that out. I'm guessing. Uh, typical MTGO gameplay. They were doing really, really well as well. Um, so... Didn't see where Omnath just shot his rage, but I'm being attacked now with both of those guys. That card is really annoying. I remember playing against that in standard. Uh, so that's just a 4-4. Four, four. Uh, so I'm just going to let that through. Okay, so Sol Ring's now on the top of the library. We've got Ronus's Monument, which is pretty cool. First things first, though, before I forget, we're going to exert the Pride Sovereign to get a couple of little kitties. And we have got the E-Witness, which is pretty sweet. So we could return stuff back to our hand. Don't want to do that just yet, though. I think we want to keep... Keep on the way we are. I have a feeling that we just cultivate. Seems like a good play. Can always can always do with more lands. Did that select? Go on. Uh, so put the forest into play. Plains in hand. Have we played the land this turn? No, we haven't. Awesome. Okay, so we still got six mana left untapped. I think that means that we get down the Ronus Monument. Uh, Enlightened Ascetic is also quite interesting. Uh, let's get rid of the Rhythms of the Wild. Target creature is going to be that target creature. And that we're going to target that with. Cool. Um, I think we're about done. We can't really cast anything else at the moment. So we're going to move to combat. We're going to put that trigger onto there. So we've got a 910 trampler, which is pretty sweet.
Let's just attack War Pig. So they're down to 11 life. We're going to leave that forest left open now. Um, just for mind games. <laughs> I don't know what my, what's, what's one green mana as an instant. Worldly Tutor or something. So, destroy all tapped creatures. You gain two life for each creature tapped this way. So, oh, we lost the Pride Sovereign. That's an Eternal Witness target if ever there was one. So next turn we're going to draw Growing Rights of It the Mark. Oh, uh, Rampaging Baloths. Okay. So Growing Rights. If you control four or more creatures, so that will flip over straight away. And then we've got Crazy Mana going on. So that's already created a beast. How are they pumped up? How are they pumping up their beasts? Does it have trample? No. Uh, landfall, basically. Yeah. Okay, so we've drawn the Grown Rights. We've got an Ajani on the top of the deck, so that's no use to us either. Okay, so... We need another creature down. Stat. So if we cast the Eternal Witness... Um, yeah, it doesn't matter. I don't think I'm going to be attacking with anything at all this turn. <clears throat> so we are going to return the hammer. Back to our hand. We're going to cast the hammer. Uh, one, two, three, and the generic. Uh, we're going to do we equip that? Yeah, why not? Let's just equip it to a token for the lols. Should have equipped it to the vizier, really. Yes, we want to use that. So we now got a five three indestructible lifelink trampling token, which is quite a mouthful. Uh, we've got four creatures now, so that means the grown rights will work, and that will flip over before they get a chance to uh, bane it. Yeah, I know, but I'm just trying to provoke them to just use it again. So, hmm. Oh yeah, Chrome's Vengeance does. Uh, Non-land permanence, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, so we had two Ajani's scavenger grounds, which is quite handy. Uh, Slesnia signet, so yeah, whiffed a little bit there. Uh, doesn't really matter; they can go just go back in any order. Um, but yeah, don't want to carry on. Oh, and we've got a strip mine. Let's move to combat. So, Arabo's trigger triggers. Let's put it onto the cat. Uh, so, 86 indestructible lifelink trample. Let's attack the war pig. <clears throat> so fair play that's blocking with the 
beast token. That looks reasonable. Cool, so up to 45 life. We get to flip that into our Gaia's Cradle. Um, okay, so it's not a board wipe. They're searching for land. So yeah, this feels like a pretty old school deck to be fair. I don't think we've seen any new cards in here. Yeah. Okay, Bright Half Banneret. Yeah, exactly. I mean, just leaving it in the command zone for the eminence, it just does work for you. It is unbelievable. It's the same with all four of the eminence commanders from that year. Equal to half the highest life title. Ooh, that's big and mean. Doesn't have any kind of evasion, though. Uh, but yeah, the Eminence trigger is just pretty cool. Um, so yeah, you can go under the bus. And I'll take seven. So that's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. So we draw on a strip mine and there's a moss warp bridge on top of the deck. That is not ideal at all. Um, I don't think we have a way of shuffling our deck at all either. Um, so let's just play out the strip mine. We've got a huge amount of redonkulous mana though. So if we cast a Rabo now, now might be the time. So let's do that before I forget. I know it will tap for four. Um. Oh my goodness, this is a bit of a slow palaver, isn't it? Um, there's no lands that we want to destroy at the moment, so we can tap that for the for that. Uh, we'll give that one. Rhinus's Monuments, Trample. Um, Oath of Jani now. Get some plus one, plus one counters onto things. Okay, so we just know that um, the board is going to get blown up now. Right, let's move to combat. So we're going to attack Warpig. Um, we want to activate that ability. How do we do that? What is happening? 
can I do it? Am I just not working things out properly? Oh, I just realised they've got a 2020, haven't they? Oh, that is so silly. However, that is a ridiculous amount of life links, so yeah, not too worried about it. <laughs> foolish, foolish of me. Yeah, so they just bounced, thankfully. Thankfully, it wasn't a complete disaster. However, yeah, could have done a lot better there. <laughs> okay, so they're just doing a bit of land searching. <clears throat> But yeah, that's how crazy is that? It got up to like an 18 something or other. 1816, I think it was. Um, but yeah, what we might start doing is um, holding that indestructible cat back a little bit. Are they doing it? They haven't done anything. That's a little bit weird. Hmm. Wonder why that is. So next turn, um, we've got Mosswalk Bridge uh, that we're going to draw, which again is not amazing at all. Bane of Progress, all artifacts and enchantments, so we lose the Oath of Ajani and the Hammer. Yeah, I've noticed that. I think it's just in case anyone goes after them that they've got some kind of trick up their sleeve. So I have a feeling that I'm going to be done for shortly for being too cheeky. Um, oh, okay. No, no, no. Wow. Okay, so they're going into Grave. Here we go. Here's why they've been holding open manor. <laughs> okay. Oh no, they targeted me! Oh. <laughs> okay. So I now have a 1 1 basically land fetching dork and they've stolen all of my cats! Forever? Forever, ever? Until the end of turn. Okay. However, yeah, of course, they're going to be destroyed. Because <laughs> he's not going to block favourably. 
Why can I not activate that? Only if your control, opponent controls more lands than you. Okay, so... Yeah, I'm left with Justin and Bravo. And true the Mosswalk Bridge, which was going to work, but is no, no longer going to work. Um, nothing's really got flying except for the Cavalier, to be honest. So we don't want to do any more searching. I mean, yeah, no, not really. Nothing here is looking good at all. Let's hide the whirlpool away. We've got pretty much nothing to do now. We've run out of steam. The steam has been taken from us, unfortunately. So, yeah. Yeah, that is just a 6-6. Six, six. Um, yeah, so we need to play that out. Just so that we've at least got a bit of a blocker, but yeah, we are now we are now done for. Okay, so yeah, at least we're on a lot of life. So we've got a couple of turns, maybe two turns to um, try and draw into an answer. I just saw the uh, Romu Hien. Uh, thanks very much for the follow. Didn't get the notification on that, but I have just seen it. So, yeah, cheers for that. Hope you're, uh, if you're still here, that you're enjoying the stream. So that's pretty sweet. A Gromer's Vengeance. Okay, so that saved the bacon a little bit. There's still no strip mine targets really on board either. Creeping Trailblazer. And a Multani, which is a 13-12 at the moment. We've drawn yet another land. We are being properly screwed here. This is crazy. So let's play that so that we at least get the scry. A uh, journey mentor of heroes is not going to be any good if we don't have any creatures to put the tokens onto. So we'll put that on the bottom of the library. Do we recast a Rabo? Mm, we've got the mana to keep recasting. Uh, to be fair, so yeah, let's just do it. Um, so yeah, we'll pay a bit of white. Pay green and... One more. There we go. Almost lost count. Cool, so next turn I need to draw something other than land. I think we've just had three in a row, the strip mine, then the Mosswarp Bridge, and then the temple. So yeah, fingers crossed, we need we need a cat or a hero. Okay, time stretch, so <laughs> yeah. 
who knows? They haven't even cast a commander at all this game. Oh, that's exciting. Just got a text message and uh, doing Secret Santa with uh, part of the family and just got given who my Secret Santa was. So, yeah, can get Christmas shopping. Uh, so they're playing in a chroma. Yep. Oh, we've got Moss Fort Bridge. So that's a possibility. Yeah, we've got that whirlwind hidden underneath. Uh, so they're swinging in at me. Fair dues. <clears throat> we just need to get up to 10, uh, 10 power on the board and then we can wipe it out. Uh, so, is this their third turn? I think it's their third turn. Okay, Crows and Cycling of Crows and Tusker. They must have something more to do with this turn than just that. Unless it is just to get in two swipes with the Acroma. Ah, oh, Rubinia's down. They've got a Mind Stone now, which they're sacking. They've only got one mana left. Uh, that's got Reach, which is why they're swinging in at me. Um, but I'm on 50 life, so it puts me on 54, which is fair enough. Uh, still no blockers. Got nothing in the air. Is Mortani an elemental? Yeah, Elemental Avatar. Soul of the Harvest. Where's that going? That's going at me as well. Okay. Um, I'm not going to stick Rabo in the way. I'm just going to take 13 damage. It's not commander damage. So, yeah, not a biggie. And they've just gone, so they... What? What? I don't think I took the damage either, did I? No, they went before they... before... Wow, okay, so they've gone, so it's one on one, 1v1, mano a mano, and green sun zenith. Now this is where I need to try and remember. Yeah, lol, exactly. <laughs> it's... Who knows? Um, but yeah, now I need to try and figure out what I've got in my deck. And... What we're going to uh, try and grab. So that's five mana. Let's do... Seven mana, that should cover most bases. I honestly can't remember, I'm having a complete mind blank. Ooh, okay, so Prowling Serpent Pard's pretty sweet, but there's not too many counter spells going around. Nazan. There's a search library for an equipment card and reveal it. And then we get it to our hand. Or Miri. Each opponent. Mm, yeah, Miri might be quite cool. Although Nazan is going to get the most out of the mana that I've just spent.
And it allows the Mosswalk Bridge activation to get rid of that Chroma. So that's what I'm saying. Um, do we want Behemoth's Ledge? Trample and Lifelink. Argentum Armor though, to be fair. That is quite possibly the one. Although I'm not sure that we've got enough mana for that at the moment. One, two, three. Oh, so yeah, hang on. Right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we can do that. So yeah, I think that's going to be the winner. Um, so, add that and use one of them to cast the Whirlpool. Cast it. Cool, so they decided to trigger their greater good. So yeah, I chose wisely in that instance to hide the whirlpool. Uh, and then let's cast this, so we'll have a bit of that. Right, command the damage time. I'm on 35 life, I'm on 44. Next turn, the Argentum armor is going to be on board, so that's going to be pretty sweet. They're now on 30 and they've taken 5 commander damage. <clears throat> okay, so Genesis is returning. I didn't quite see what that was. I'm sure we'll find out now <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, to Foe's Moat, creatures of the chosen colour without flying can't attack you. Uh, so that sh just shut down both of those. Can't attack. Great. So whenever a crit creature attacks, I can destroy target permanent. Um, but that's in a bit of a lock now. Unfortunately. Yeah, I have a feeling that they've now locked us out of this game. Because <laughs> we've drawn a planes, which is the last thing that we need. Without flying, can't attack you. Okay, so let's do this. Um, and a bit of that. And another one. I don't think it'll actually let me tap to attack, so I don't think the Argentum Armour will trigger. I think I might actually have something right in this instance. So we've got a 
<laughs> I completely forgot about Rabina. Okay, so they just sacked off my uh, Nazan. <laughs> and yeah, I think this is the long, slow, painful death that we probably all knew was inevitable. But yeah, there was a slight inkling. At the start, I was looking like... Like things were promising, maybe. So Genesis is returning. Didn't see. Again, I'm sure that they will let us know. <laughs> Crows and Beast. So it's an 8 8. Yeah, I don't know what's going to save us now. They got 15 cards in hand to my one planes. <laughs> okay, they've taken out the Argentum armor. But to be fair, they are played out, so yeah, we will see. You never know; they might be like the luckiest top deck of the of the week of the century, somewhere in between. I don't think so, though. I think I used up my um, enchantment this turn. It's another land. Okay. Oh, I don't believe it. I really don't believe it. <laughs> How many times have I just drawn land instead of what I actually need this game? Yeah, I think. Well, once once they've dispatched me, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna end the stream and go over there to my sofa and cry a bit. <laughs> so now they've stolen a Rabo. They haven't sacked it to the greater good though. Presumably, they're just gonna beat my face with it now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's it's pretty bad, isn't it, Clockwork? To be fair, mate. I had I had an inkling of hope that something might happen, and then they just threw a fortified village in my face. <laughs> okay, so that is sort of 17 damage. Oh, okay, no, it's more than that. So I'm down to 18, so I'm dead next turn. What was that? It just sort of flew in and flew out. Take an extra turn. Okay, so yeah, it is GG's. I did not see what was going on there at all.
Cool. Hopefully that doesn't come across as sarcastic. I just typed in uh, lots of fun GG. Um, yeah, and I do mean it. It was a lot of fun. Obviously it's frustrating to not win and have all of my cats stolen and then uh, flung back at me. However, they built a really sweet deck to be fair. They were a bit quiet early game and then they just came out of nowhere. So yeah, Kamal's activation, and then that is it. I'm a goner. <clears throat> I've got no blockers. There we go. Congratulations, Grave. You well and truly mullered me. Yeah, only played older cards as well. That is pretty powerful. Um, let's just reveal my hand for no other reason. So yeah, they, yeah, they do. It was all old style, old border. That is really, really impressive. I like that a lot. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's interesting that you that you came up with the old border restriction, and then that was exactly what we that what we faced off against. Um. So, yeah, um, I'm going to call that a day here. It's been about just over an hour um, and I don't want to get into a second game and then have a repeat of last week where it just went on to insane lengths of time as I was being toyed with um, last week. So, yeah, thanks very much, Clockwork, for chatting. Really, really appreciate it, mate. Um, yeah, fantastic. Uh, thanks very much to uh, Romu Hian uh, for your follow. That is also very much appreciated. If you're watching this over on YouTube on the replay, thanks for tuning in. Hit the subscribe, thumbs up, drop a comment, all of that kind of stuff. And I will catch you next week for more streaming or I'll catch you on Thursday for a brand new video on the channel, uh, which is, yeah, I'm about to go and finish writing it and editing it. So I will see you then. Let's end this stream. Cheers.